Ever had that gut feeling, that whisper in your mind saying, pay attention? Well, listen up because your intuition might be onto something big. There's a person in the mix and your instincts are firing off signals about them. But hold on to that thought because what's brewing with this individual is about to unravel into a story you won't want to miss. This tale's got the intrigue you've been waiting for. This isn't just a video. It's a call that demands your immediate attention. The secrets unveiled here hold the power to elevate your life and your loved one. Do not deny yourself this chance. The choice is clear watch now and seize the opportunity before the profound truths slip through your fingers. Your destiny is calling and the time to answer is now. But before that, you've committed a grave mistake marked by the disapproval of the Lord. Pay close attention to this warning and divine suggestion before plunging into crucial matters. If you're watching this video today, your guardian angels have an important message for you. They've guided you to this moment because your intuition is trying to tell you something crucial. It involves someone who has a significant role in your life, and the divine forces are urging you to pay attention. Hey there, beautiful souls. I hope you're all feeling the positive energy that's flowing your way. Today, we're diving deep into the mystical realm of intuition and the divine messages that are often whispered to us through that gut feeling, that inner knowing. And guess what? Your angels are here, standing by your side, ready to unravel a message just for you. So, let's talk about intuition. You know that feeling, right? That subtle nudge, that quiet voice in the back of your mind that's trying to tell you something. Well, my friends, that's your intuition at work, and it's a powerful tool gifted to you by the universe. Now, close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath. Feel the energy around you. Your angels are here, and they want to guide you through a message that involves someone special in your life. It's like they're sending a cosmic text message, and we're here to decode it together. As you ponder on this, let's consider the person in question. Who could it be? A friend, a family member, a colleague, or perhaps someone you've recently met? Your angels are nudging you because there's a message entwined in the energy surrounding this individual. So, let's explore this cosmic message, shall we? Firstly, take a moment to reflect on your recent interactions with this person. What vibes have you been getting? Positive, negative, or a mix of both? Your intuition is your spiritual GPS, guiding you towards the right path. Trust it. Embrace it. Feel it in your heart. Now, as we unravel this divine message, think about the emotions connected to this person. Is there joy, love, or maybe a hint of discomfort? Your angels want you to acknowledge these emotions because they hold the key to understanding the message being conveyed. Imagine your guardian angels sitting with you right now, sipping celestial tea, and sharing their wisdom. They're saying, Dear one, pay attention to the energy surrounding this person. We are sending you vibes, vibrations that carry messages beyond spoken words. Tune in and you shall find the answers you seek. Type 1111 to claim it. Let's delve deeper into the symbolism your angels are using to communicate with you. Perhaps you've been seeing certain signs lately, repeated numbers, feathers, or maybe even a specific animal crossing your path. These are not mere coincidences, they are divine winks, affirming that you're on the right track. Your angels are like the cosmic DJs, orchestrating the symphony of your life. They're saying, listen to the music of the universe, for it carries the messages you need to hear. So, my friends, pay attention to the signs around you, for they are the breadcrumbs leading you to a deeper understanding of the message at hand. Now, let's talk about the energy exchange between you and this person. Have you been feeling a sense of balance, or is there a disturbance in the force? 
Your angels are highlighting the energetic currents flowing between you two. It's like they're saying, feel the vibes, dear one, for they reveal the dance of energies in your cosmic connection. Type 777 if you already believe. As you contemplate this, remember that your angels are not here to instill fear but to guide you with love and compassion. They're like cosmic life coaches, encouraging you to step into your power, embrace your truth, and navigate the intricate dance of relationships. Think about the dreams you've had recently. Your angels often communicate through the language of dreams, crafting intricate tales that hold hidden meanings. So, grab your dream journal and jot down any vivid encounters with this person. Your angels are saying, we speak to you in the realm of dreams, pay heed to the messages woven in the tapestry of your sleep. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, any lingering doubts or fears you may have about this person. Your angels are gently nudging you to release these fears, to surrender them to the cosmic winds. They're saying, trust in the divine plan, for we are orchestrating a beautiful dance of souls. Let go of the fears that anchor you, and soar with the wings of love and trust. Subscribe to our channel if you love God. As we navigate through this cosmic message, remember that your angels are like celestial cheerleaders, rooting for your spiritual growth. They're saying, you are divinely supported, and the answers you seek lie within the whispers of your soul. So, take a moment to connect with your inner self, for there you will find the guidance you seek. Hello, beautiful souls. Your engagement and shared insights are truly heartwarming. It's incredible to see the collective energy of this virtual gathering. So, let's dive even deeper into the cosmic pool of wisdom as we continue to unravel the message your guardian angels have for you. Now that we've explored the nuances of your intuition and the energy surrounding this special person, let's talk about the lessons and growth embedded in this cosmic connection. Your angels are like cosmic professors, urging you to open your heart and mind to the teachings this relationship holds. Type 222 if you believe. Consider the challenges or conflicts you may have faced with this person. Your angels are saying, Dear one, do not shy away from the lessons presented to you. Embrace the growth that comes from navigating the ebb and flow of relationships. Every challenge is an opportunity for spiritual expansion. Think about the moments of joy and celebration shared with this person. Your angels are smiling, whispering, acknowledge the blessings, the laughter, and the shared victories. These moments are the golden threads weaving a tapestry of love and connection in the fabric of your soul. As you reflect on the dance of energies between you and this person, consider the concept of soul contracts. Your angels are nudging you to recognize that certain people come into our lives for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. They're saying, Dear One, understand the divine contracts at play. Some connections are fleeting, teaching us valuable lessons, while others are enduring, serving as pillars of support in our journey. Now, let's talk about the concept of forgiveness. Your angels are emphasizing the importance of releasing any resentment or grudges you may be holding. They're saying, forgiveness is not just a gift to others, it is a gift to yourself. Release the heavy burdens, and let the wings of forgiveness carry you to a place of peace and liberation. Consider the shared dreams and aspirations with this person. Your angels are encouraging you to align your visions, co-creating a future filled with harmony and mutual support. They're saying, dream together, for the universe delights in partnerships that nurture the growth of each soul involved. Type 333 if you trust angels. Now, let's touch upon the concept of self-love within the context of this relationship. Your angels are reminding you that the most important relationship you have is with yourself. They're saying, Dear one, love and honor yourself, 
for in doing so, you create a sacred space within which beautiful connections can flourish. As you absorb these insights, take a moment to express gratitude for this person and the role they play in your life. Your angels are smiling, whispering, gratitude is a powerful elixir that magnifies the positive energies within and around you. Express your gratitude, and watch as the universe responds with even more blessings. Now, let's address any fears or insecurities you may have regarding the future of this relationship. Your angels are saying, release the need for control and surrender to the divine flow. Trust that the cosmic winds are guiding you both towards the highest good, even if the path may seem uncertain at times. In the grand cosmic dance of life, your angels are reminding you that every step is a step towards your spiritual evolution. They're saying, embrace the journey, dear one, for it is a sacred pilgrimage of the soul. Trust that the universe is conspiring in your favor, orchestrating a masterpiece of love, growth, and divine alignment. Type 555 if you trust Jesus. As we wrap up this cosmic conversation, take a moment to share your reflections and any additional insights that have surfaced during our exploration. Your words are like echoes in the celestial chambers, creating a harmonious symphony of collective wisdom. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. Your angels are standing by your side, ready to guide you with love, grace, and celestial support. Trust in the magic of the universe, believe in the beauty of your soul's journey, and know that you are a cherished co-creator in the grand tapestry of existence. Thank you for being a part of this sacred gathering. Your presence, your energy, and your light contribute to the vibrant mosaic of this cosmic community. Until we meet again, may the whispers of your intuition guide you, and may the love of the universe surround you always. Blessed be. Show your support by giving super thanks up to $20. Type 444 to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. An important message is waiting for you in the next video, where you'll hear it. How long, O oh Lord? How long? Have you ever asked that question? Have you ever been there? You know what it's like to ask that question. You're asking some version of it now. Divine is familiar with the waiting you have to deal with another round of resumes to send out, or another round of chemo, another negative on another pregnancy test, another underwhelming first date, another specialist, another grey winter day, another shift at the same old job, or another afternoon staring at the four walls of a prison cell just waiting for the night to come. How can this be? Here comes your answer. The best style of prayer is that which cannot be called anything else but a cry. You all ever prayed those kinds of prayers? God, if you don't show up, I got nothing in the tank. I don't think I'm going to make it without you. David was a man after his own heart, and he laid it out to the Lord exactly the way he felt. He said, if you don't help me, I may die. Psalm chapter 13 says, How long, O Lord, will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I take counsel in my soul and have sorrow in my heart all the day? How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Consider and answer me, O Lord my God. Light up my eyes, lest I sleep the sleep of death, lest my enemies say I have prevailed over him, lest my foes rejoice because I am shaken. But I have trusted in your steadfast love. My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. You'll notice that it begins with a voice of desperation. David begins this psalm by saying, How long, O Lord? He says, How long, O Lord? Will you forget me forever? David feels forgotten by the Lord. How long is this going to keep going? Now here's a question you always have to ask ourselves. Was David forgotten by the Lord? No, he was not forgotten by the Lord. But did he feel forgotten by the Lord? Yeah, he did. And David wasn't afraid to communicate that to the Lord. This is the way I feel. He isn't necessarily saying that this is the situation, but he feels forgotten. 
He feels like the Lord has hidden his face. And David, furthermore, feels like it's been going on forever, which elicits that question, how long? God cannot forget his children. He said so. Let me show you Isaiah chapter 49. He says, can a mother forget the baby at her breast and have no compassion on the child she has born? And then he goes on to say, though she may forget, in other words, in some extreme and extraordinary circumstances, although she may forget, yet he says, I will not forget you. God knows where you are. The very hairs of your head are numbered. Now keeping in mind how David started this psalm, and you saw how desperate it was. How long, O oh Lord, will you forget me forever? Check out these last couple of verses. But I have trusted. Notice that's past tense, as David begins to speak now, here toward the end of this very short psalm. He says, but I have trusted in your steadfast love. And it's kind of as if David is saying, you know, I've trusted you in the past, and there's no reason for me to stop trusting you now. I've trusted in your steadfast love. So what's his conclusion? My heart shall rejoice in your salvation. Look at this turnaround. My heart will rejoice. But if my eyes are on the Lord, there's always a reason to rejoice. And that's what we're told, rejoice in the Lord. And so David is looking back on his past and he's saying God's been faithful. You know, that doesn't mean there haven't been rough spots. But God brought me through. Pour out your heart to the Lord. Today, there's many of you who have been living in verse 1 for far too long. You've been saying, how long? A whole bunch, but you haven't been saying, I will trust, and I will sing, and I will rejoice to the Lord, because he has dealt bountifully with me. Just want to encourage you. I know the wilderness is a long way. The wilderness is hard. I'm just telling you, the Lord has great plans on the other side. I have a thousand reasons to sing his praises and I look back on my timeline and say, look how God has been faithful. Look how God has been true and I trust you. And I'm looking to you for help in the middle of this and find yourself rejoicing with a new song in your heart. Here comes the message Father is talking about. And after that, a prayer and some divine wisdom to save yourself from any unforeseen event. My beloved child, you will overcome and all will witness that I am with you. Your blessing is on its way, and nothing shall hinder it. Soon you shall receive the answer you seek. Your needs shall be met, and your health restored. The one you love will return to your life. I'm telling you this to fill you with courage. Let your joy begin today, for people and loved ones will come seeking you. I want them to see your joyful and rejuvenated face. Let your smile impact them and let them witness the wonderful blessing I'm about to bestow upon you. My word has been given and abundance is declared. I do not lie and what I promise I shall fulfill without fail. Always remember this to keep anxiety and worry at bay. I myself will put an end to your suffering, for your time has come. Days of happiness and delightful moments are on the horizon, and you must cherish them. Do not fear, my child. Do not cry and do not despair. Believe in me, for I am the God speaking to you today. Believe it with all your soul, for I hear your pleas. Feel the beat of your humble heart and your prayers resonate in my throne. The gates of my grace open for you, and I shall pour my blessings and favor upon you. My presence dwells with those of simple faith, with those of humble hearts, and with all who sincerely and earnestly invoke my name. Always remember that you can trust in my power and my faithfulness. I will never forsake you, nor will I forget you as the years pass. When enemies and troubles assail you, or when you feel weak, needy and unwell, I am with you at all times. I repeat this to you always so that you do not forget. I long for you to seek me every day, to remember my words, for I have the power to deliver you. When I say it every day, it is because I will truly do it, and I want you to have faith 
to go to sleep in peace and to wake up in the morning with a joyful spirit and the confidence that my promise is unbreakable. I do not lie, I love you and I will always bless you. So it was, so it is and so it shall be. Tell me now that you believe. I want to see in your words your strength and happiness. You are on the verge of receiving that long-awaited blessing and that's why the enemy has come with all their fury, trying to pull you away from my side. If things are not going as you expected, it's not a reason to become angry and throw in the towel. Today, I understand how you feel. Look at me and we will sort things out. Do not distance yourself from me. Do not hide. How could you ever think that I am not real? Where did you get the idea that I cannot love you? Why do you underestimate yourself so much? No trial or difficulty in your life escapes my notice today. I am not pacing before the throne, wondering what I will do with you or how to bring you through. You really are not that great a challenge, says the father. You didn't actually think I would be intimidated or daunted by the mountains standing in your way, did you? I am the God of the universe and I live inside you. Do not allow the enemy to make you think or lead you to believe that what you are enduring is somehow unique or in some way worse than what any other person may be facing. That is self-pity and self-absorption seeking to get your eyes off of my faithfulness. In my earth walk, I endured and was touched by what you are feeling right now. I suffered and I did not sin, so that you could withstand likewise and remain in obedience to the heavenly vision of all that I have promised. Look in expectation to what I am about to do on your behalf. I always come through on time and on target to address what pains you most and hold you captive. I am releasing you from your captivity this day. This is heaven come to earth time for you today. This is the hour that changes the world and the hour that changes your world. What are you waiting for? Go ahead and dance in advance. Go ahead and rejoice. I will be found faithful in your life. You will look back and see and look back and declare what else could have possibly gone right. This is not fantasy. This is not an incredulous, unlikely possibility. This is the rock solid affirmation of my word and my promise that endures forever and puts you over in every circumstance. You are not a victim. You are a principality and a power. Wearing this day the very crown that you will one day lay at my feet in triumph. You've made me weep with your thoughts. I also have a heart that feels. Indeed, I love you. I don't want you to ever leave my side. When you were sunk in depression and despair, when you thought your final day had come, it wasn't you who sought me first. I came to where you were and took you in my arms with so much affection. Cleanse your soul and your heart, for I've forgiven all your faults. I comforted you, healed you, and stood you up. You walked once more, you were reborn. Pay attention now, for at this moment, you will understand that my promise is firm, unbreakable. No one can snatch you from my hand. My love is eternal. If you are filled with doubts, it's because you're believing in someone else. But look, let's forget about that. Come into my arms now. You're making me cry too. You move me so much when I see you running towards me. Life is like this. Struggles will come. Doubts may persist. But they are like birds circling your head. And if you're not careful, they will enter and build nests in your mind, filling your thoughts with confusion, disconnecting you from my love, making you forget the beautiful moments you've experienced by my side, 
causing you to focus only on the hardships you faced. Do not allow these thoughts to enter. Reject the ideas of death that the enemy wants to plant. Let me remove those doubts from your mind. You will come out of the sadness you feel right now. I am writing my name on your heart, so you will never forget or doubt that all my love is yours. I will not fail you. I give you my word. Even if the world turns against you and you look everywhere without finding a helping hand, no matter what happens, I will stay by your side. I will protect your family. I will protect you and the blessings and gifts I have sent you. But tell me now, what will you do on your part? Will you trust and hold fast to my word, regardless of what you see or feel? I assure you, and I repeat, I will not fail you. I declare this solemnly, my promises are not in vain. So walk hand in hand with me, with a tranquil heart, in peace and confidence. My covenant with you will be forever unbreakable. I know that the busyness of life sometimes leads you to set me aside. That's why I ask you that, when the silence comes and the noise fades, and you find yourself free and available to talk with me, a minute in my presence is better than a thousand hours in this world of pain. Come, for I will be there to listen to your prayers. Remember, you can find the peace your spirit longs for through your beautiful and tender faith in my word. You already know that if I say it, I will do it. If it is written, my promises are more solid and powerful than anything else in this world. You love me. You give me your heart. You feed on my word. And you believe with all your soul. I am pleased with your attitude and your dedication. There I will reward you. I am giving you the power to tread upon serpents and scorpions, upon burning coals, and any path filled with thorns of pain. You have the gift to shut the mouths of lions and to stop the destroyer's devastation. You do not need much noise or exaggerated shouting for my power to manifest. Your simple faith, your grateful soul, your obedient attitude and your brave warrior's gaze are sufficient. The enemy is not frightened when people raise their voices and declare my word, but they do it without faith. They speak and shout, claim to love me, but of their gatherings, they point fingers, judge and criticize. And thus, no miracle can I perform. I have chosen to use you and work miracles through your lips and your hands. Let nothing deter you. Do not cower in the face of any obstacle. In my love and power, you will leap over walls and overcome the evil armies. In those days when loneliness envelops you and tears become your solace, come to me. I understand your suffering, sadness and desolation. You do not need to explain anything. Just cry out my name and I will lighten your burdens. I know how much love and attention you have given and how little has been received in return. They lied to you, betrayed you, did not consider your efforts and did not value you. Know that I have seen everything you have been through and I understand you perfectly. I understand what you feel and what you have had to endure to reach this point. I have always been, am, and will be with you. But from today onward, your faith is reborn and your eyes open to a new life where you finally feel and believe in my love. This is my promise. Give me your life and your heart and I will be with you to love and heal your pain. I will be your shield in every battle, surround you with my affection and give you unshakable peace to strengthen your soul. If you fall, you will rise. If you become discouraged, I will infuse your spirit with strength. No one and nothing can sow fear in your mind. Let no accusations or lies disturb you. Do not allow ill-intentioned people to see you fall. Trust only in me, 
for I know your noble heart, and you will see how your enemies flee in terror. You will witness your life filling with peace, wisdom, prosperity, health, and holy joy, thanks to the blessings that come from above, covering you completely. By my side, all your dreams will be possible. You will feel my presence within you, and you will never be the same person again. Everyone around you will notice the joy and peace radiating from your face. Come tomorrow, rise early, pay attention, and very clearly, you will hear my voice, reminding you that I will never fail you, for I love you with all my heart, whether you are doing well or facing challenges. I am sending you this message of tranquility, because I heard you say today that you needed peace. I am breathing divine strength into your soul, and you can feel the serenity filling you at this very moment. Just open your lips in a prayer of gratitude. This is the most beautiful prayer you can offer. Do not feel bad. I hear you perfectly. My response was sent before you even called. But I want you to exercise your faith, not always relying on your strength, even though you are very intelligent. Do not make yourself dependent solely on your prudence. Be wise and humble, for you do not know everything. Dangers and snares lurk in the darkness around you, like a roaring lion in the spiritual world. Pay attention, take it seriously. I hope you understand me well. When you come to listen to me, you will feel my Holy Spirit embracing you, and I will not let you go until I sense your heart calming down. I will not allow you to walk the paths of life filled with fear and despair. I will knock on the door of your soul every morning, for I want you to rise early when everyone in your house is asleep. There, in your room, on your knees, in silence, start your day with active faith. Come with confidence. I am waiting for you with open arms. Leave your thoughts and reflections in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, may love and transformation fill your days. Curious to discover more life-changing insights like these? Then dive right into our next video. It's a journey you won't want to miss. Click on the video and let's keep the universal's wisdom flowing.